It was that time of year again, the NHL Draft. It has recently happened. After the Vegas Golden Knights won the Stanley Cup, congrats to them, the draft happened. However, this, is, this isn't just any old draft. No, it is the draft where a new hockey god is born. One man is going to the NHL and make a name for himself. And that new man is Connor Bedard. The new Lord and Savior of hockey is here. And he is going to play for the Chicago Blackhawks as expected, as the Ducks cry with more salts. And shockingly, Adam Ventilli was chosen third instead of second. The second pick was Leo Carlson. And now the first round of the draft was interesting because so many picks who were expected to be chosen early on got chosen later. And picks who were expected to be chosen later on got chosen earlier. And the best part of the first round of the draft was Will Smith getting chosen by the Sharks with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song playing in the background. And he also did rap, he also rapped parts of the song in an interview, which makes it better. And the Devil's GM, Tom Fitzgerald, who happened to be the first captain of the National Predators, traded his... 7th round pick to the National Predators to give now former GM David Poyle one last pick. And after David Poyle made his final pick as general manager of the Nashville Predators, everyone gave him a standing ovation. A stuff of legends. Now what about the Rangers? How did they do in the draft? Well, the Rangers only had 5 picks this in this draft. Of course, they had more, but they were traded. The, Ring the Rangers originally had two first-round picks, one of their own and another they got from the Stars in the Niels Lundqvist trade. But they traded that pick to the Blues for Vladimir Tarasenko and Nico Mikola, which the former is gone now. So the Rangers only had one pick in the first round, but their first pick in the draft... The Rangers impressed us quickly as they selected a forward named Gabriel Perot. Now this guy is an absolute beast. Like last season with the U.S. National Under-18 team, Perot scored 53 goals, 79 assists, and 132 points. In just 63 games. Like, not only that, but he was also part of the under 18 USA team that won the gold medal in the under 18 World Junior Hockey Championship, which ends with the Capitals' ninth pick, Ryan Leopold, scoring the Golden Goal Overtime Series winner. And in that run, he scored. Perot scored 5 goals, 13 assists, and 18 points in 7 playoff games. And he had the most assists in, the, uh, in that tournament. Not only in that tournament, but in the Under-18 World Junior Hockey Championship history. And if that wasn't already amazing enough, guess what? Perot has beaten Austin Matthews' record. Austin Matthews. When you had that, that is just amazing. And do you, know what, do you want to know the best part about this is? This guy was projected to be chosen in the top 10. He was projected 8th. But so many teams passed up on him. When it was our turn, and I knew that Gabriel Perot was still an option, I was begging and praying for the Rangers to choose him. And when the Rangers chose Gabriel Perot, I was very happy. New York Rangers are proud to select from the U.S. under-18 team, Gabriel Perot. Let's go!
Yes! Oh, this guy. I just kept seeing this guy with the brown shirt. Gabriel Perot is a ranger. But I'll but I'll take him, especially since he was projected to be in the top ten. But none of us were be, uh, like like the fact that this happened was unlikely, but it happened. In a twist of fate, where no one thought it would happen, Gabriel Perot is a ranger. Of course, he's going to play college hockey coming up, but we got him. He is ours. And it's going to be exciting when he plays for the Rangers. So the Rangers had a second round pick, but they traded it to the Chicago Blackhawks for Patrick Kane. So no second round picks for the Rangers. So now we move on to the third round. The, Rain the Rangers did have their 91st pick, but then... Uh, they traded that pick along with next year's seven round pick to the Pittsburgh Penguins to move up one spot. And with their 90th pick, the Rangers selected a defenseman named Drew Fortescue. Last season with U.S. National Under-18 team, Fortescue scored a goal, 25 assists, and 26 points in 62 games. Not the best numbers, but they are very decent numbers for a defenseman. But, but just like Gabriel Perot, Fortescue was also part of the USA team that won the gold medal in the Under-18 World Junior Hockey Championship. In that run, Fortescue scored a goal, two assists, and three points in seven games. Better? Definitely an interesting pick, so much so that when the pick was made, People were going crazy. Knowing their reactions, it sounds like Drew Fortescue might be a steal. I hope that is the case. So there are no picks for the Rangers in the fourth round. So now we move on to the fifth round. Now the thing about this is that we weren't supposed to choose in the fifth round to begin in. We actually got this fifth round pick in a trade. We got that pick from the Edmonton Oilers. And who do we give up to get him? Jaden Groob. Yeah. Jaden Groob, who was selected 65th overall in the third round in 2021 by the Rangers. Like, when Groob was drafted, and when I looked at it, I, 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 I stated that it was an interesting pick. It's like three points in five games in the WHL leading up to him getting drafted. It, it was very exciting. Well, ever since he was chosen, not only did he continue to impress, but he dominated. Like, in, in, in the season, the season after he got drafted, he scored 14 goals and 21 assists and 35 points in 68 games, and two goals, two assists, and four points in 10 playoff games. That's definitely an improvement. But this past season in the WHL was where he really took off. Because in that season, he scored 18 goals, 49 assists, and 67 points in 64 games. And also, 2 goals, 14 assists, and 16 points in 12 playoff games. So he started, started to blow up and started to become a point-of-game player, which is really exciting. So why must the Rangers trade him? Like, and to get a fifth round pick for Groob instead of a third? Like, come on. It's like, 
he was really, he looked really good, and it was, and I was waiting to see how he does with the Rangers. Like, why would you get rid of a good player too soon? Like, when that trade happened, I was very upset, and I fear, and I still fear, that Jaden Groove is going to instantly thrive in Edmonton, and is going to make us regret trading him. So now, but now you may be wondering, who do we select with the fifth round pick? Well, for the for the with the hundred fifty second pick, the Rangers chose a defenseman named Rasmus Larsson. Last year in Sweden, Larsson scored sixteen goals, eighteen assists, and thirty four points in fifty games. And in the playoffs, he scored three goals, two assists, and five points in six playoff games. Those are really good numbers. And for a defenseman who scored 16 goals, since defensemen usually get assists, more assists than goals, that is really impressive. But the only question now is, what would be enough to be better than Jaden Grube? Or can we at least make this a win-win trade? I seriously hope either one happens. And I wish Jaden Group good luck in Edmonton. So last but not least, we move on to the sixth round. This time around, the Rangers have more than one pick in the sixth round. The first of those two picks was a pick they got in the Andrew Kopp trade. And with the 178th pick, the Rangers select the centerman named Dylan Rubrik. Last year in the OHL, Rubrik scored 15 goals, 38 assists, and 53 points in 68 games. Nearly a point a game player. Another solid pick by the Rangers. The other six round pick that the Rangers have is their own. With the 183rd and final pick for the Rangers, the Rangers select a forward named Ty Henricks. Last season in the USHL, Henricks scored eight, nine goals, 10 assists, and 19 points in 47 games. Pretty much decent, but considering it is a six round pick, it is not that bad. Now the Rangers did have a seventh round pick, but they traded that along with Julian Gauthier who recently signed a two-year deal with the Islanders. Like, why the Islanders? To the Ottawa Senators to get Tyler Mott back. So the Rangers officially finished the draft. They have chosen five in this year's draft. And that is a, and it was a really good class. Like, sure, it is not the best, but it is definitely an interesting class. Especially with Gabriel Perot in our team. The Rangers did a great job in this year's draft. And I can't wait to see what they'll do. And one more point. He'll tie the great Austin Matthews. He's on the move. Perot in. Forehand. And he shoots. Score! There's the tying record. And on cue, Gabe Perot makes it 2 0, and he's tied the great Austin Matthews. Great play in the neutral zone, but he, he, he makes the first shot that's saved by Ludenberg.